Hi, my name is Patty Dunn and I'm an environmental educator at the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education. As the weather grows cooler and the days shorter, we know that fall is on its way. And we're not the only ones who realize this change. Birds are keenly aware of the change in seasons and know that for them, it's time to migrate. The word migration refers to the periodic large movement of a population of animals and birds are famous migrators. The bird migration season starts in mid-June and doesn't end until early January. The reason for their migration is to move from an area of low or decreasing resources, like food, to an area of high or increasing resources. Some birds migrate just a short distance, while others will cross continents. Let's check in with the Schuylkill Center's Wildlife Clinic to get the scoop on one specific migrator. Hi, this is Chris at the Schuylkill Center Wildlife Clinic, and we have got a fantastic little release today, this lovely scarlet tanager. Um, female, and she has been with us uh, for about a week now. Uh, she was a window strike bird, which means that she ran into a window, unfortunately, had a concussion, um, had a little bit of a wing injury, but thanks to um, a lot of pain management and good food and cage rest, she has healed up wonderfully in the past week, and we're going to let her go here. She did come from Glenside, but with birds that are on migration like this scarlet tanager, um, we do release them here on our property um, when it's appropriate to do so. We have a lot of great resources for them to build up um, their reserves and get on their way with their migration. And uh, I have just seen scarlet tanagers in this area um, right over here by the clinic in the last 24, 48 hours. So we do know that they're around here. So we're just going to go ahead and unzip this and Hopefully she will just fly right on out of there for us. My name is Rebecca. I'm an environmental educator at the Schuylkill Center and one of my favorite migratory birds is this bright and beautiful scarlet tanager. This is a male. The females, if you're looking for one, look a bit different. They look much more like this, so sort of an olivey yellow color, much better at camouflaging. However, after mating season, the male will change its bright red feathers for a much more casual yellow olive color, very similar to the female, although it does hold on to those jet black wings. Now that you know what these two scarlet tanagers look like, you can go look for them on your own as they continue with their migration. For the Philadelphia BioBlitz, we're trying to catalog as many species at the Schuylkill Center as we can using the iNaturalist app. If you come bird watching, help us catalog the birds. All you need to do is snap a picture on your phone and upload it on the iNaturalist app, tagging it at the Schuylkill Center. This will help us keep track of all the amazing birds we see on site. I hope you enjoyed getting a peek into the wildlife clinic. To check out some birds on your own, come to the Schuylkill Center. You can bird watch from our trails or come to our bird blind. Grab some binoculars, a trail map, and enjoy the thrill of seeing and hearing these amazing migrators. Take care.